Hello my friends and welcome back to another What I Ate Today video. I'm going to take you through my whole day, show you everything I ate in a day along with my morning exercise. Most mornings I love to move my body, get in a little bit of exercise or a workout. I just love the way it makes me feel to start the day with some movement. On this particular day, I did a 40 minute full body workout. I have been creating my own workouts as of lately and I'm really excited to be able to share them with you. I am sharing them on my Patreon account. So if you're not subscribed there yet, go ahead and check that out. I post what I ate today's, my full exercise, calories burned, calories eaten, all sorts of amazingness with Q&A videos, full topic posts and everything to help you guys live a healthy, sustainable vegan lifestyle. So my workout on this day was, as I said, a full body. So I was trying to target all of my muscle groups. And my favorite form of exercise is definitely functional compound exercises. So I'm moving my body a lot and it creates really good mobility, working my muscles, my joints, and it's such a good sweat. So here are some clips and little snippets of my morning exercise. And if you're not really interested in seeing this, don't worry, you can skip ahead to three minutes 46 and get straight into what I ate on this day. Just like every morning, I start my morning with celery juice and I drink this celery juice every morning on an empty stomach. Good morning friends, it's that time again, celery juice time. I've been drinking celery juice every single morning on an empty stomach for nearly two years now and I've been loving the benefits. Um, lately I've typically been drinking anywhere from 700 to 900 milliliters and I absolutely love the taste. It's slightly sweet and slightly salty and so refreshing. It's my pre-breakfast, so I have this, and then I wait 30 minutes, and then I tuck into my breakfast. After about 30 minutes, I was ready to tuck in to my breakfast, and on this day, I had this beautiful, beautiful, sweet, crispy, juicy watermelon. We've been so lucky with the watermelons lately. They have been absolutely incredible. So we have been having them nonstop and we're making the most of it while we're here. 
Moving on to my lunch, I was ready for something a little more dense. I had papaya banana ice cream. So into my blender, I added my frozen baby Thai bananas along with the frozen papaya. And I blended that up smooth and put it into my serving bowl. Because I have such a large amount though, I do have to portion this out into two goes so I don't overwork the blender. So as the first go was done, I put that into the freezer while I was blending the second batch. And then I take it out of the freezer and top it with the second batch and then lastly to top everything off I added a few more of the papaya chunks I'm a huge fan of banana ice cream because it's so filling delicious sweet nutritious and there's so many different flavors you can create moving on to my dinner I started off with some pumpkin and a white sweet potato the pumpkin was beautiful, creamy, and thick. I love, love, love this type of pumpkin. I also adore white sweet potatoes. However, this last white sweet potato I had, it was going off just a little bit. So some of the skin bits I did have to pick away. So all I did was chop them up into big bite-sized chunks, probably three bite-sized chunks. And then I put them in the halogen oven to bake for about 45 to 50 minutes on 225 degrees Celsius. Then in my saucepan, I have three different veggies here. I have snow peas, broccoli, and zucchini. All I do is add in some distilled water and then have it steam on the stove top for about 15 to 20 minutes. Into my salad bowl, I added some romaine leaf lettuce. Once all of my green veggies were cooked, I also added that into my salad bowl. And also once the white sweet potatoes and the pumpkin were done baking, I also added them into my serving bowl. Lastly, adding into my bowl some cucumber and some tomato. So I took one large cucumber, chopped it up, and then I took two large tomatoes here and I chopped them in half. Here's the final result of my dinner. So there's my big salad bowl. And to dip, I have my homemade oil-free hummus. I will leave the link here for you so you can check that out and recreate this recipe yourself. It is so, so delicious, thick and creamy and lemony. And so I dipped everything into the hummus. Here's the full chronometer breakdown. I had just over 2,400 calories, 86% carbs, 6% fats, and 8% protein. I hit 100% of my nutrient targets on this day, so I was pretty excited. And as far as exercise goes, here's my 40 minute workout I had in the morning. And then I also did a 50 minute yoga practice um, closer towards the afternoon. I needed to stretch out and relax a little bit. And then here's my total daily calories burned, 2220. That was my full day. If you guys like this video, if you like this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know, subscribe for more. I will see you next time.